The other day I got this letter from a woman who lives in Lodi, California, which is, you know, I think a very red part of our state. And she's a woman who has an 84-year-old husband who had lymphoma and has been in great pain uh, since he developed herpes zoster or shingles. He's lost hearing, he doesn't do anything, can't move his left side, he has no sense of taste or smell, uh, his eyes burn in water, making reading and watching TV difficult. He's been told there's something besides zoster going on, but no one knows what. Morphine, etc., have not helped, nor have pain clinics. Bowel movements after morphine plus stool softeners are immense, time-consuming, and difficult, even with an enema. Finally, the plumber had to install a new toilet. My husband was given marijuana by an acquaintance. Using it once or twice a day cut the pain at least 50% with no apparent side effects, but he has no access and his face was spending what's left of his former active life in a recliner with his eyes shut. Why can't he be given medical marijuana? Do no harm. The law prevents me from telling her that there's a buyer's club three blocks down from where I work. I'm not allowed to do that. That's aiding and abetting.